Your core friendship group will evolve over the coming years. Prioritize similarity of values over perceived social standing when it comes to selecting newcomers. Don't feel insecure about peers who get off to a fast start career-wise. We each work at our own pace, and you have plenty of time to figure out your true calling. If you want people to perceive you as mature, use your manners, treat others with respect and show plenty of humility. If you start saving and investing now, you'll thank yourself later. At the same time, go easy on yourself if you don't manage to save much at all. There's plenty of time to play catch up in your mid to late 20s and 30s. Find yourself a great mentor, someone who holds themselves accountable for your progress, but takes no credit for your success. If you're having no luck with the ladies, maybe it's just not your time yet. Overall, for men, dating becomes a lot easier in our later 20s, 30s. If you want to find your passion, get busy trying your hand at anything. Inspiration for passion often comes to those who are already busy working at something else. Don't be in a rush to be taken seriously. As an adult, by the time you are, you'll miss how much freedom from the responsibility you had in your early 20s. Take risks, don't say no to opportunities, as now more than ever can you look to take in the world. Maximize that lack of responsibility. Be kind, be humble, be decent to others and yourself. Listen more than you talk. Work hard. Basically, don't be an asshole and don't hang out with them. It's easy to mistake ego with confidence. When you're younger, it's different, and you can tell because confident people don't generally knock others down. They usually try to help them up. Be the kind of person that other people want to succeed. Then you have everyone around you pulling for you, and that's massively helpful. This is the most important time of your life. Every uncomfortable situation you avoid is a chance for you to experience a new thing and you will regret such little things later in life. Get involved in everything that's happening around you. Never back out just because you think you suck at it. You'll be surprised how good you are at things that you don't like. Focus on fitness, both of the mind and body. You won't believe how much trouble and money you'll be saving for yourself down the road. This will be the decade of a lot of hard confrontations for you, with the ones you love and with yourself too. Never let things ruin your mental peace. Listen to your dad, now is the time when you'll be learning a lot of imp life lessons from your father and you might also discover that they're not as great as you once thought but you'll have to accept that they're only human. You'll be developing the worldview which will stay with you for the rest of your life. There will be a lot of things that will piss you off. You'll find it hard to remain calm but it's okay. It's a phase and it'll pass. Practice meditation, make it your habit. You'll encounter a lot of distractions too. There will be people who will promise the world just to get the better of you so watch out. You'll be betrayed a lot, so better accept that you're on your own. This is the time to figure out your priorities and stick to them. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try new things, but just know that it's equally easier to get lost figuring out what you want only to find yourself 28 years old with no idea what to do in life. It is time to watch what you say to others. Say too much, you won't be respected. Ignore everything, even worse. You won't know shit and feel like an outsider. Things you said will eventually come back to haunt you, and your worth will be determined by how many people you know and how active you are in your circle. Your reputation will be everything so protected with your life. Set clear boundaries with friends, family, lovers. Talking to a therapist might help. I know there's a lot of stigma surrounding mental illness, but your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Depression is treatable if not curable. Depression can stem from a lot of things. Most often it follows the onset of insecurities, that are born of our negative experiences in life. If talking to a licensed therapist one-on-one -on -one is scary for you, try reaching out to a close friend or family member. Talking about traumas and insecurities can be extremely uncomfortable, so prepare yourself mentally and find a good listener. Think of it like a band-aid. The terror is worse than the pain. When you start to open up, you will hear yourself say things that may not be as serious or truthful. Question the things you tell yourself. Ask if there is a legitimate reason for those internalized statements. Ask yourself if those reasons are within your control. If they are, change it. If not, realize that you're not perfect. No one is and that is okay. You can still figure out how to change yourself to deal with the things you can't change. Asking for help is okay too.